back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a one month review of my Vanderspeck planner. I did do an unboxing when I first got this and I did a flip through of it, you know, coming into the new year. But I wanted to do a separate video of, you know, like just talking about basically like the leather and the planner itself. What I think about it, I've been in, I've been in this planner for a month now and um, this is my honest, you know, personal opinion of what I think about the leather. This is the Janet Leather Velvet Sand. It is a suede leather, so it has that velvety touch to it. It's this like really gorgeous nude close to taupe color. This is an A6 size or a senior size. I did have it custom made for myself to a point where I adjusted like some of the pockets. I did add two secretarial pockets on the left and the right and then I added the flyleaf. I have gold rings and I did widen it to A6 size which is basically because the senior size is already an A6 size and widening it even more um, choosing that option it just the planner is just a lot wider and I like that because it doesn't the closure doesn't touch my dividers it doesn't touch my tabs and it doesn't touch my pins so like my pin this uh, pin extra pin loop right here is from the Moterm brand and I did add it because I have three pins like you as you can see I have my pin my uni pin it's like the marker for the transparent notes and I have a dot color dot zig dot this one yeah so yeah it doesn't touch like any of it and I love that so much because I don't want my tabs getting ruined I don't want my dividers getting ruined so it works now for the leather itself if you're the type of person who you know want your planner leather to be spotless like flawless and just doesn't have like a single mark on it you know this leather is probably not for you because I am pretty careful with my planners but sometimes I'm not careful to the fact like I kind of want to use it you know as a planner like on the go just like throw it in my purse throw it everywhere and be done with it and I have done that to all my other planners except for this one this one I've been like truly careful and honestly, no matter how much careful I am, I still find like marks on it, new marks on it every day. Like I've already, like if you can see this mark right here on the clasp, like I don't even know where that came from. And then on the back, you can already see a bunch of like marks as well. And I've been using the eraser, I've been using the brush that was recommended by Rachel from Little Rach Plans. Uh, let me guys show you what those are. So I got them all from Amazon. I do have this brush right here. I will link it down below uh, for the specific one and it's just to like brush the leather. It's I think it's kind of like what they use for like suede shoes. So that's and since like suede leather is basically this one so it kind of works the same way. And this is the eraser that I have, but I haven't used this one because the brush actually came with an eraser itself. So this is the one that I've been using. I honestly don't know what the difference is between using the gray and the white, but I've been using both and it works really well for taking out like the spots. So I can show you like a little bit of like a preview or like a sample of how I use the brush or the eraser. So you kind of just like carefully, you know, basically erase the mark and it works pretty well. Just have to be like really careful. You don't want to like rub it in. Um, that's the <laughs> advice that I got from Rachel. You just have to like be careful on how you like use it because it also like messes up with the leather. And then I also like use the brush to get rid of the mark and voila it's kind of like gone it's still slightly there but it does like fade as like the more you keep doing it and that's how I've been like taking care of it I at least like do 
you know, kind of inspect my planner like once a week just to see like the marks or whatever. But honestly, like these ones, like on the class, like I can't like really take those out or I can really try, but it doesn't really bother me that much. If it's like a really big mark, I will probably like erase it or use the eraser. I also have the leather um, protectant, which is like a water protectant spray. I'll uh, go ahead and show you guys what that is. So this is another recommendation that I got from Rachel. And this is the water stop, you know, leather protectant. So what I did is when I got my planner, I did spray it like front or in the outside and the inside. And I waited like 30 minutes on each side to like for let it for it to like dry off. So that was good. I honestly don't know if that actually did anything because it get gets marks anyway. So I don't know. Maybe it has like for water. I mean, I haven't really like spilled or splashed like any water in my planner. I don't intend to, honestly. But I feel like that's probably the purpose of um, this spray right here. So yeah, like it's. A really fragile planner it's a fragile leather and like I said if you want your planner leathers to be like completely spotless this it has to like this has to just like stay in one place honestly if you really want to like have it like perfect the way it did when it came when it first comes to you that's like the best like option I wanted to you know take this with me everywhere even at work sometimes and I really didn't want to do that because I know it's gonna get dirty easily so I have my B6 Turing Co that I'm using which is a book bound planner but I still wanted to reach for my planner I still wanted to have all the stuff that I have in here with me at work so I did buy a little case this is from Target and it's just like this little bag that says like essentials on it. This is like from the dollar spot and this is what I basically do. I put like my planner in here, zip it up, and then this is what I take to work. <laughs> I've done that a couple of times already at work and honestly it works out because I just, if I am planning on something, I just take my planner out of this bag and then I put it on like a surface and then I put it this way so it doesn't like touch the surface of wherever it's at. I mean I do sanitize like my workspace every time when I go in to start my shift but I still don't want to like have it touch the actual surface <laughs> in the hospital and then I just take out like the pages that I need to plan so it's just like sitting in one surface. So anyway that's what i've been using it for or how i use it for whenever i go out i haven't really like taken it out whenever i go anywhere else other than work because i just i i'm still like in the process of finding like a little an actual case for it that actually fits it because the one that i got at target it's pretty big and it doesn't really fit my purse so yeah the leather is really good it's super pretty and it would I can see it aging like pretty well once you know you know over time but you do have to prepare yourself that marks are gonna be there along the way and for me honestly like it roll doesn't really bother me that much if it gets like spots here and there because I think that's how you know leather like builds like its character and you know you, there's like a story to tell so yeah like uh, this is like my honest review you know I love it but at the same time, I also want something that I can just like easily throw and not like really like not take care of it. But, you know, low maintenance. <laughs> I want something like like low maintenance planner. This is not a this is not a low maintenance planner. That's like pretty much like the gist of this review. But I do love it and I'm going to be sticking around to it. I'm still going to be using it for probably like a month or two because I'm still planning my new custom but I am definitely getting a new custom for my 86 because uh yeah I mean as much as I like this I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get tired of the color anyway and yeah and then it'll just like sit in my shelf for a while until I'm ready to move back in again but yeah overall though this is such a great custom made planner the configurations are what I need in a planner so it definitely is was worth it you know the weight the money 
and all of that. And that is it. That is my review. If you're considering getting a Janet Leather Velvet Sand, I hope this kind of helps make up your make up your mind if you really want to get it or not. I honestly, you know, it's something really pretty, but it's super high maintenance. <laughs> so if you're okay with high maintenance planners, well then go for it because it it is a really beautiful planner. If not, um, it's probably something that you know you might want to rethink about okay and yeah so if you guys have any more questions please let me know in the comments below i will link everything all like the cleaning maintenance stuff down below as well i will it's going to be in my amazon storefront so just follow the link and it will take you to that so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and of course if you want to see more content from me don't forget to subscribe thank you guys bye